Was Moses biblical? In 1995, TNT aired a miniseries entitled Moses as part of its Bible collection, starring Sir Ben Kingsley as Moses. Altogether, the series was three hours long, beginning at the birth of Moses and following his life all the way until his death on Mount Nebo. It stands apart from other films about the Exodus because it extends beyond just the events of the plagues, the Red Sea crossing, and the Ten Commandments. This film includes the spying out of the land of Canaan, the 40 years of wandering, and the second water from the rock as well. While I enjoyed the fact that it was more comprehensive than other films, let's examine this more crucial question. Was it really biblical? I have to admit, I found a lot to like and a lot to dislike about this film, so I'm not going to start them off with points in the positive or in the negative like I do in most reviews. This time, we'll start right in the middle at 50% biblical, and I'll add or subtract for the major things they got correct and the big ones they got wrong. Since there is so much content to cover, I'll probably just hit the highlights. So if you notice something I missed, it'll be your job to let me know about it in the comments below. So just how biblical was this mini-series? Well, I really liked a couple things right off the bat. The film begins with a fast-paced retelling of the events surrounding the birth of Moses, and quickly makes its way to Moses as an adult prince and pharaoh. Now, before I go, I want to sincerely thank you for watching this video. If you like this content, don't forget to hit subscribe to support the channel and to see more content like this. And follow The Bible Explained on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Bible Explained. I really do appreciate your support. Also, I want to remind you all that the entire Bible is ultimately about one thing, the redemption of mankind by Jesus Christ. You see, the Bible teaches that all men are sinners and that no sinner can have eternal life with God in heaven because we must pay for our sins for eternity in hell. That's definitely bad news, but the Bible is all about this one thing, the good news that Jesus died to pay the penalty for our sin on the cross. Since your sin has been paid for by Christ, all that is left for you to do is to accept that gift by faith. If you've never accepted the gift of God by faith, won't you do that today? Leave a comment or send me a message and I'll be happy to talk to you more about having your sins forgiven by Jesus Christ.